Liver fluke is a parasite that affects grazing livestock. Understanding how to successfully control liver fluke in your sheep requires knowledge of the liver fluke life cycle. Adult liver fluke live in the bile ducts of infected livestock. They lay eggs which are passed out in the feces. When weather conditions are suitable, warm and wet, the liver fluke eggs hatch and the little larvae called Myricidia have approximately eight hours to find their intermediate host, the mud snail. After burrowing into the mud snail, the Myricidia multiply rapidly and emerge approximately eight weeks later as Cercaria. Once emerged, they attach themselves to grass where they are ready to reinfect grazing livestock. Once eaten, the liver fluke larvae penetrate the gut wall and migrate to the liver and spend the next 10 to 12 weeks munching their way through liver tissue and causing a lot of damage to the infected sheep. Once they reach adult stage, they migrate to the bile ducts, where they feed off blood, mate and lay eggs, and so the cycle continues. Because only the adult liver fluke lay eggs, it is not possible to use fecal egg counts to identify early liver fluke infection. There is a long period of time, up to 12 weeks, from the time when a sheep first picks up infective liver fluke larvae from pasture, to the time when liver fluke eggs will start appearing in the feces. So while fecal egg counts may be beneficial in terms of diagnosing infection in sheep that have been grazing fluke-infested pastures for three months or more, getting abattoir feedback from sheep that have been slaughtered is very useful in determining if treatment is needed. There are a number of different active ingredients marketed as flucicides, some in combination with wormers, to also control stomach worms. It is important to use anthelmintics sparingly and only when needed. So if the sheep need to be treated for liver fluke, then a flucicide only, not a combination product should be used. Different active ingredients have different efficacy levels against the various stages of liver fluke. Some flucicides only kill adult liver fluke. Some kill both adult and immature fluke. And one active, triclobendazole, kills all three stages. One, early immature, two, immature, and three, adult fluke. However, some populations of liver fluke have already developed resistance to triclobendazole. It is important that the correct type of flucicide is used. So during late summer and autumn, when sheep are actively picking up infection, the flucicide used should be effective against immature fluke. In late winter or after a period of housing, a flucicide that is effective against adult fluke can be used as a clean-out dose to prevent fluke eggs contaminating the pasture when the sheep are turned out in the springtime. After treatment, it is important that farmers periodically check that the treatment has worked by taking a fecal sample three weeks after treatment to determine if fluke eggs are still present.